Hey guys, uh, welcome to the tutorial and today we will be uh, learning about Azure uh, Blueprints. And if you are preparing for AZ500, I just completed two weeks back. I am telling you that a lot of questions do come from Azure Blueprints. So, um, you know, follow along with the tutorial and uh, you will have an, a good understanding of Azure Blueprints. And before going to Azure Blueprint, uh, you might want to go and also take a look into my previous uh, video that I've talked about on Azure policy and then once you have that uh, you know in place then you can come back to uh, see this tutorial so let's move on uh, and start creating uh, blueprints so on this uh, tutorial and you will have a good idea so let's just go and create a blueprint first so um, you should go and do a global search as blueprint and then you will land on this wizard and as soon as you land in here the first thing is we have to go and create blueprints so there are multiple stages for blueprint and as we go and start creating um, you will understand so let's do a create blueprint so I want to go and create a blueprint and as I told you the blueprint the main purpose here is that if you want to enforce any standards across all the IT allocated resource then you want to use blueprints so when I say IT standards it's like more of an industrial standards like HIPAA and uh, ISO and any uh, you know country based like New Zealand information security or like if you have your business running on Australia and then you want to use this so for now as a demo purpose I want to enforce something on uh, a basic networking VNet virtual networks across our subscription so let's click on this uh, pre-populated sample for us and then the first thing that you have to do is create a name for a blueprint. So let's say uh, for my staging project. So I want to create this for my staging project on Dev and Raman. And you can write whatever you want here. And this uh, part is a definition location. So you can either map it to a management group or you can also map it to a subscription. So let's go and create as a subscription level. So any resource that is being going to be created under subscription this blueprint will be going on and uh, deploying all kinds of resources. So the next part is the interesting part is the artifacts. So move on to artifacts as this is our pre-populated one. So we have our VNet and an NSG and then the VNet with one subnet. So this is the artifact. So let's create artifacts. And I told you that with blueprint, you can create a lot of policies as many as you want. So we're not going to do a policy assignment, but just for the sake of demo, let's do a role assignment. So any resource that's going to create, I want to have certain role assigned for that. So let's go and create a network contributor role for a particular user that I want to have. So I've already then created a user called blueprint user one for the demo. Um, I will assign that and then click add. So any resources, right the resource that we are going to deploy here will be having a role assignment for this guy it will do all the orchestration for us and then the next part here is we're not going to do any of it and i want to mention here is you can see the artifact type and then the parameters so here uh, one out of one parameter is already populated and the rest of the pa parameters can be populated during the definition part so this is a creation part of the blueprint let's just go and save the draft for some reason it's going to take some time it will not go and reflect immediately so just wait for some time uh, yeah so it's kicking back and it said saving blueprint definition is succeed so let's go back to the definition part so click on the blueprint definition and you have this in case if you have the scope as a management one right you will not see any of the blueprint so don't panic uh, if you have you know falsely made the scope and I have done this several times so I just want to remind you guys so just go on to management and then the free trail which I have one and you can see your blueprints uh, saved draft right and then the next part is click on the, the dot one so you have to have a publish blueprint and then the assignment one so let's go and do the next part is the publish blueprint. So in the publish blueprint stage, we have to give some versioning. So I may give like 1.0 for the sake of demo. And then if you want to do any change notes, you can do that. Let's go and just say publish. 
So once you have this notification, go back to uh, assign the blueprints and then wait for some time. Okay, it will not populate because we need to do something here. So once you do all these things, let's go back to the definition place and then right click on here and then you have to do an assign blueprint. So this is basically you are telling that go and kick off all the orchestration that I've told you to Azure. So here you can give the assignment name and then the location you can change whatever you want. I'm going to leave it all the default and you have this lock assignment and then the system assigned one. So I'm not, I'm going to use the system assigned and then uh, let's go and create a resource group resource name actually for this. So let's say staging R RG demo. And then uh, here is the part where you have to give all the parameter values. So for resource name, it's been uh, giving some concatenations, all these prefix one. And then let's say I want to apply in Central India. And then uh, feel free to change whatever the address that you want to enforce. So I'm going to leave everything as it is and click assignment. So you will uh, start seeing the notification. It says that creating blueprint assignments. So let's wait for some time. So after some time, uh, like a minute, so um, I, I see the, the uh, notification as blueprint assignment succeeded. So now let's go back to this part and we should see our uh, assignments. Excuse me. Okay, so uh, we see our assignments here now. So let's go on and see these uh, parameters, the column ones. Now it says that provisioning state as waiting. So it means that, you know, in the background, it's doing all the work it has to do. And then like click on this three dotted and then see the view assignment details. So let's see what it is doing here. So right now the status is still saying waiting as you, you know, as it is getting progressed, we will be seeing a lot of resource being, you know, started uh, creating here. So I will pause on the video and I will resume it back after the assignment status changes. Okay guys, so after a few uh, clicks of refresh button, now you can see the stating, uh, the assignment status have changed to deploying. So it is started deploying something on the back and you can see the progress. It's going and creating our resource group and then it's going to go and create our virtual networks and then also the subnet and then the NSGs. And you can see that it's already doing some uh, role assignment on the back and I think it's just refreshing itself. So let me wait for some time and then once everything is done, I think we should see uh, the status as successful. I just want to show you the different stages of assignment. So that's the reason I just, you know, resume the video back. I will go and pass on the video once everything is done. So finally, um, it has changed the status to succeeded. That means uh, everything is in big place. So let's go uh, one by one and just revalidate is everything in place or not. So all our uh, contributor role assignment is succeeded resource group ritual networks nsg and then the subnets and didn't uh, we didn't uh, mention anything on the lock state so it's been on not locked so let's go back to uh, our screen uh, so let's go on to uh, the first thing is ritual networks and see if we have our networks in place yes we do have our demo vnet in place it's in staging and let's see the role assignments. I'm sure that, you know, we'll have the blueprint user being populated. And you can see that, you know, it has gone and uh, added the network contributor role for this guy, the blueprint automatically. And it says inherited. So that's it. And these two identities are uh, basically for the system assigned one that we asked in for the blueprint to do that. So that's it. And let's move on to another thing like subnets and we have our subnets also in place. So let's click on that, everything in place. So let's move on to NSG and we should have our NSG in place too. So we have staging demo NSG blueprints. Let's make sure is it associated with the one that we wanted it. Yep, so it automatically associate with the staging demo thing. So this sums up our uh, blueprint tutorial guys. So if you have any questions, uh, doubt please post it on the comment section and smash that like button guys so this encourages me to post more on it and uh, happy learning and i hope uh, to upload more videos on az finder 
and if you have any request uh, videos please let me know and y'all have a great day bye bye